Hello everyone, it's CitySwings here, welcome to a brand new video in The Sims 4. Today we are doing another build and this is another shield challenge by Hippie Brene. Again, as always, if you don't know who Hippie Brene is, uh, I don't know what to tell you. I literally do all her shield challenges. Uh, we talk all the time on Twitter and everywhere and I, I, honestly, if you don't know her at this point, I don't know what to tell you. But she did this shell challenge uh, for the end of 2020. Um, I think it was on the 26th of 2020. And um, I decided to make a spa. And I think it's very fitting for 2021 um, to have a spa so that we can all chill and relax a little bit because uh, uh, it's been it's been a 2020. That's that was a that was a year. That was a year. Um, so <laughs> let's start this. Happy New Year for, for 2021. This is gonna be my first video of 2021. So uh, just just so you know, this is my first video of 2021. And uh, yeah, it's a spa, so we can all chill and relax a little bit. We really really need to take a little bit of a breather, take a break, log off the internet sometimes, um, turn off the news, why not? Because it's been, it's been, it's been a, a year and you know, these first few days of 2021, also not the best, but um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I decided to go with the spa and I really, really like the final results. Obviously, if you want to download the spa, it is up on the gallery right now. You can use hashtag SillySimix or you can use the hashtag HipHipShell1226, which is the hashtag for the challenge. And you will also see all the other creation that people did for this same shell. And I really, really enjoyed the rules for the shell were only to um, not touch the exterior walls and uh, I think that's basically used the lot that was a 30 by 20. I think that was the size that we were uh, fixated to, so all the lots should be on that size. But that's basically it. And I really, really like it. Um, the final vibe that this um, spa has is very like Asian themed, uh, Japanese inspired. Since we do have a snowy escape now, I did use a lot of snowy escape, and that is like the kind of the vibe that it turned out to be um i really really enjoy it i think it's cute and you can see right now we have the main building and we have these three other buildings right here these three buildings are gonna be like where you actually do your spa experience while the main building is more like the entrance uh reception there are the bathrooms and upstairs there are also the changing rooms because you do need changing rooms in a spa and uh, i think it turned out pretty cute and I'm actually super excited for you guys to see it and see the screenshots as well if you want to check out the screenshots those are at the end of the video as always and uh, I'm, I hope you enjoy it just I hope you enjoy it and uh, take a breather relax 2020 was a hell of a year um, but also want to talk about the fact that um, 2020 for my channel was such a good year um, the growth that I got during 2020 was incredible uh, my channel grew way more than i expected to and uh, i met so many new people so many incredible creators that i love and uh, i was able to um, create the simmers awards as well those are fun as well um well uh, <laughs> the, the, those uh, were um, i mean they're, they're fun they're fun for uh, me mm -mm, uh, but yeah, it wasn't the funnest experience, I guess. Um, if you know what I mean, uh, you probably don't. But uh, yeah, no, you don't. You know, you know, <laughs> you know. I posted a video on here as well, so you know. Uh, I also created a little. You can see right here we have the bathrooms. On the other side, I decided to, we had this spare room, and I decided to make a little room for the staff for them to like relax and chill out a little bit uh, when after they've done the reception or they are not masseuses anymore um, and they are on break, they can go in that room and relax. Obviously, Sims in a real spa would not do that, but uh, you can pretend that they do and probably you will find some people, actually some customers going in, which is not great, but you know, for, for my personal like vision, it makes sense. 
and um, in that room I'm gonna place like a little couch and TV I'm gonna put also uh, a fridge and a little microwave so that can eat so it makes sense for a staff room but I know that people are gonna use it so it's fine and um, I'm using this big 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 doors and windows it's very bright and light and I'm, oh yeah oh it didn't, didn't work and it's a, it's a shame I really wanted to cover up some parts of this with some glass uh, it doesn't look good it didn't turn out good in my opinion and uh, in the end I just deleted it and used other stuff so you'll see it in the end uh, I do change this glass panels with something different it was a cool idea I guess it wasn't executed the best um, I'm using a lot of uh, vines from I think these are from vampires actually um, but these are like the brightest green that we have and I'm placing them on the little sides to make it a little bit more covered up and a little bit more secretive since you know when you are inside the spa you're not supposed to be looked from the outside I guess since you're probably in your robe uh, walking around going in one of the rooms to go and relax um, I think it makes sense for you to be protected in some way and I thought the vines would look good and give a little bit more of an atmosphere. So this area right here, it's gonna be the reception area and it's not gonna be functional because in real spas um, yeah, you would have it but in The Sims you don't need it. So um, it's physically there but Sims cannot access it. Uh, so there's gonna be like a desk counter uh, with chairs and uh, a cash register. Um, and I actually made two different like little cash register places spots uh, for the reception uh, obviously as I said these are not useful whatsoever because in spas you actually don't need it um, so yeah it's a little bit of a shame um, but I think it looks good so the, the, the main objective that I wanted it for this little area was to look good and I think it does so that's fine uh, you can see right here using this divider from Moschino and I'm placing in some chairs at the back. Again, these chairs are not, not accessible uh, by Sims, but it's more of an aesthetic thing. So just so you know, if you want your Sims to sit there, they, they cannot. Um, and uh, adding some decorations, some Japanese inspired, Asian inspired decoration. I think it looks pretty cute. And I try to keep the colors very soft, very neutral. Uh, there are some pop colors here and there, but mostly like they're very neutral and calming and I think it makes sense for Spam to have like calming neutral colors, a lot of plants and again Japanese inspired art, so a lot of um, Snow Escape stuff, so if you don't have Snow Escape and Spa Day, those are definitely the two packs that I use the most, but I also didn't like try to do it with like a certain amount of packs or restricting packs in any way so just so you know this is a uh, all packs build i don't think i used all packs but um well more or less and uh yeah this looks pretty cute i i actually really really enjoy it this is the bathroom the bathroom is a, a unisex bathroom because i didn't want to do another area for a bathroom the um upstairs um changing places though those are obviously separated uh, and I used the onsen, um, what, what, how do, how do you, would you call them, like lockers the, the, that we, came, we got with Snow Escape for the onsens, uh, I think those are like kind of locker kind of things and I used those because I really want, I really like the aesthetic of that, it really looks cute and uh, it serves the function of a locker that you need in the spa for the requirements. So. Uh, I was really pleased with that. I actually used that and I'm super super pleased with that. Uh, a lot of seating area here at the front area and this is one of the first rooms that we're gonna walk, walk? No, work on. And then this one is very much a relaxing room. So we have the massage table, we have the massage chair, we have a nice big shower. Um, I really really love that shower. Here we ha are gonna have two saunas, so um, you can uh, get your own sauna and get go in and do your sauna time. And um, it's it's nothing really crazy in these rooms. It's just this stuff to do your relaxing stuff. Here is the yoga slash meditation room as well, 
and uh, this is the final room actually. So we have some yoga mats and some meditation mats, a little drink thing. And oh, uh, yeah, I went back and placed all the little speakers on every little space that we wanted them. So we have speakers everywhere that are gonna play spa music. And here are the two areas for the um, changing rooms. And here are the onsen things that I was talking about. Uh, I really like the aesthetic that they have and I think they work pretty, pretty well and uh, trying to make them a little bit less stark in this environment because and you know the wood color was a little bit too bright in my opinion and i'm adding some more places to sit so you can sit down take off your shoes put on your wardrobe uh, yeah <laughs> i don't know why i'm not talking uh, correctly but i honestly when am i talking correctly anyway <laughs> um and uh, here is the other little onsen room um, I'm still calling them onsen room, these are not onsen room, but I also placed this little um, informative things from Snowy Escape as well. I think those suits the spa really, really well, and they work pretty, pretty well. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of decoration in here uh, to make it a little bit nicer, and a couple of big, like, uh, if, if you're walking around barefoot, you do want a little bit of a comfort, so I guess that's why I put those rug in. And uh, here we are working, uh, and I think this is the final room they're working in. This is the uh, stuff room, I'm gonna call it. And uh, here um, you can see I'm adding some seating. Um, there's gonna be a little bit less actually in the end, there's gonna be only one couch, but I do place in a TV, I have a little like a half kitchen with a mini fridge, a coffee machine and the uh, microwave and we have all the lockers at the back because in my opinion like when you come in from the outside in your spa uh, stuff uh, for the spa you go in here you can change into your work clothes uh, so that's why I place those uh, lockers at the back and um, yeah more or less this is it there's like some little decoration this in this um, uh bookcase and that's more or less it and oh yes i'm sitting outside i don't know how much of the outside i'd actually recorded i do a little like seating area um around the build in those spaces oh i used these platforms this is actually something that i really like doing i use the platforms to create like little planters for trees i think this is really neat like idea, I think it works out pretty well. Adding some lights and here are the screenshots. So this is the spot that I created for the hip hip shell. Again, as always, the stuff for all the links for hip hip Renee are in the description because she is amazing and she is the creator of this show challenge. So obviously I need to give credit. And this is the inside of the spa. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully 2021 is gonna treat you better than 2020 for most of us and, and not that 2020 was the worst uh, i was about to say 2020 wasn't the worst year but yeah anyway uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you can let me know in the comments below what you think about it i actually really really like it and again as i said if you want to download it it is up on the gallery you can use the hashtag silly snowies or you can use the hashtag epic shell 1226 and uh, yeah, more or less this is it. I don't really have much else to talk about. I don't really want to talk about what's happening and where we're at right now. I really want to keep it very brief. Uh, I hope you guys are safe and are doing well. And uh, yeah, take a breather if you need. Uh, take a break from the internet. Take a break from the news if you need it. Uh, mental health is very important, especially right now. So hopefully you guys are all well and doing good. And uh, I guess this is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Put on notifications so that you know when the next video is coming out. Thank you so, so much for watching and for the support. I hope 2021 is going to be as great as 2020 was for my channel and my content. And I hope I can bring you so much more stuff uh, in the future and so many cool videos. Thank you so much and bye bye.